Good evening guys. Um completely new venue for all of us today. Oh, I've never been here. Um I fished the Thames obviously, but yeah, I've never been here. So this is Gravesend Prom. Um that there is the entrance to the basin, which is at Denton Wolf. Um and yeah, you can see you can well you can see actually through the phone the channel runs in here. And then over there, you can probably just to make out the other bank. I should have bought me a torch with me. I've just literally got out of the car and come down for a recce because, um, as I said, I've never been here before. Um, nice, easy, comfortable fishing. The cars are parked. Well, you can see that there's a car there. My car's parked just across the road from that. Nice, comfortable, easy fishing. Looks like it goes on the flat mud. There's a few little rocks and bits and bobs. I will get me a torch with me so you can see it better, guys. But this looks absolutely ideal if I'm honest I'm sure along there, I don't know again because I'm not, I've am not. i never been here but I'm sure along there there's like a bit of a beach I might be wrong anyway, I'm going to go and get my gear out of the car now I know where I am and uh, there's definitely going to be definitely going to be a rod going in this little channel definitely right, in a bit right then guys, here we are fishing for finally, at last it's been hectic, I've already had two white in um, I've got a new little rod to play with. I've got loads of, well, I say loads of new rods. It's all new a, a bit. So, new proper rod is uh, any fish anywhere GB Fix Ball Pro. Um, that is like brand new. Um, and I've got a Fix Ball reel to go on it, which we'll deal with that later because I'm not using that tonight. Plenty of Maddies. Splendid Maddies from the Maddie Man. My pal Steve. He does, uh, he does do a good job some lovely ones in there I mean look at that uh, that's a, that is that's a nice big chunky maddie that is so I had 300 of them for the night I'm sure there'll be a few extras in there um, and then so last night I picked up a new rod a play rod it is now well, people are going to laugh but it's a Fladden and it is a Maximus Super Sensor so it's a boat rod and it's like a quiver tip see the green tip it is well you can honestly see a crab fart on it um that is the, that's the rod that I've had the two whiting on. It just goes mad. You, it, it's, it's brilliant. I love it. Um, that needs really a little five-five reel on it or a little fixed ball. But at the minute, all oh, seven HT is all I've got. Um, and then this is another new rod. This is a Century. Uh, I don't know. It's a Century. Oh, Tip Tornado Light. Just so like a skinny version. You know, like a me version. Um, with its nice blue tip. I do like that colour, it's nice out there. Um so obviously I'm fishing for Flanders, because what else would I be fishing for? Certainly not whiting. Um new venue, I put a post up on Facebook last night because I don't really know much about the Thames. I know a few places to fish for cod, but for Flanders I'm not sure. So this is where this is where a few people said to go a few other people said to go up by the uh Alfreds and whatever it is up there but um, a good mate rung me last night and said about coming here so I took his advice and yeah well we'll see how it goes I've, I've also got some common lug and I've got some oh some blacks that I feel well I've done a video a nighttime video in Hive I don't know a week and a half ago two weeks ago um, and they were fresh blacks then and they still haven't been frozen so they're, they're not they're not frozen blacks but they're certainly not fresh saving them for the dab fishing at the weekend on the boat which is where this comes into play this new boat rod so hopefully we will see a flounder or two tonight that is my plan and not not too many whiting really um if if it doesn't happen here then for the last half hour of the night i'm going to move a bit further along because well, they're muddy flats along here, and obviously the flounders like the mud, they sit on the mud. There's a bit more of a channel, so I'm thinking maybe that might be a bit deeper, and uh, it might where the white might be sitting. But if it comes to it, I'll move along here. Um, a fella that I that mentioned fishing here last night on the old fishing group said, I probably want to be about 50 yards further along, which I, don't know, I suppose that's 50 yards ish. Um, for the flounders so I might I might move along maybe later depending on what happens with the white and if there's too many white in then, then I'll move because this is going to be a bit of a deeper channel where I am um, yeah hopefully 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 we shall see a flounder um, today we're at 7,000 subscribers so thank you all very much 
Um, I'd like to keep you all going though, if you can. Keep subscribed. If you haven't subscribed and you watch the videos all the time, there's no problem with it, like crack on. But it, it don't cost you nothing. Um, it really helps me out and I really want to get to 10,000 so we can do a Ziplex giveaway. Um, I haven't got the Ziplex yet, but I will do. When we get to sort of eight and a half, nine, I'll start looking and I'll get one. Um, and no, it's not going to be, a, it, it, obviously it's not going to be brand new. I'm not a millionaire. Um, but it's not going to be battered. It'll be a nice, it'll be a nice condition Ziplex. Probably looking at about two and a half, three hundred quid's worth. Which will be the plan to have a look so we can find, yeah, there's a little bite on that rod. Something's happening to it. Something's happening. Um, so yeah, that will be, and that will be a prize. That will be like a, a mega, mega prize. Oh, that was a bite on the proper rod there. That was a white. That certainly won't flounder. Yeah, look, here she goes. So, with, um, when flounder fishing, obviously they're flatfish. So try and keep the rod tips as low as possible. Um, then it will keep your hooks on the bottom. So on the little rod, I've got a running leisure rig, just literally two hooks, bit of fluorocarbon. And then on the on the bigger rod, I've got a, a two hook flapper, but it's more like a it's more like a one up, one down. But the top the top hook is really long, so it's so it's on the floor, it's on the bottom, which is what I'm hoping. Again, lug tip maddies, because that is all you need when flounder fishing. Right, I'll leave you to it, and uh, I'll bring you back when we get a flounder. I've had to bring you back. That's gone all slack, look, look at the line, look. Just down in a nice big bow. Look, the, rather, the bigger rod's going too. That's a whiting. Let me just tighten this one up. We've got a bit of bend there. Now we've got a bit of bend on that tip. Let's keep watching for a minute. It's a bit eerie here. It's weird when you're somewhere you don't know. Loads and loads of people walking past, it's pitch black. All of a sudden, someone's right behind you. I wouldn't say I'm scared, it's just a bit, I don't know. It's not great. I've got to stop now, look, now I've got my phone out. I'll bring you back. There we go. This is summing up my night already. I've moved along because this is definitely shallower here. So I'm on like, there is mud just, just along down there. Um, Oh, look at that rod go, look. That has been out, I don't know, two minutes, if that, it's banging away. Um, yeah, double shots of whiting, literally double shots every chuck, and I'm not even exaggerating. Um, like I say, this is now the first chuck on this new bit. I've moved only from down there, see where them little red lights are there. I've only moved, I've moved up 50 yards, if that. But I like, I'm, I'm fishing shallow, and shallower water now, as long as I don't bang this, the bigger rod out too far. I'm fishing the shallower water. Look at that, look. That's a nice view, that. That's a picture of that. Yeah. Um, well, I'm gonna get these white and unhooked. Get some more maddies on. I am, I am gonna run out of maddies. Honestly, I thought 300 would be ideal for tonight. Probably use 100 tonight, maybe, maybe 150, and then keep the rest of the boat, but I'm gonna need to dig some more, I think, at the weekend for my boat trip. It's gonna be a hectic night, I think. To be fair, catching white and on that rod, a little one, Ain't bad. Like, oh, makes me feel sick saying it. Ugh. It's like saying good things about Man United. Unlucky, by the way, all the Man United fans. Uh, back to Thursday nights, gutted. Um, but yeah, catching white on here ain't too bad because it's, you, you, you can actually feel them like properly fighting. Um, yeah, I know it sounds a bit weird, but I'm happy to catch. No, I'm not. No, forget that. Forget that. Right, anyway, I'll bring you back. Well, this will blow your mind a bit. <clears throat> Skip to the end of the video. Um, that, sorry, guys, it was just whiting. Um, it gave me the ump a bit, so I just, I just went on. I, I just, I, I couldn't deal with no more whiting. Um, but here I am on my boat. Um, we're out off the strand. I say we over there, in that distance. Hang on, I think I'll zoom in. That is Kevin from Angling and Anxiety, and his pal Andre. Kev's out on his boat for the first time. It, will, it that's it. He's over there, tied up to a boy. He's gonna do a bit of fishing. Um, so he bought his boat last week um, and it weren't the engine weren't pumping water so he dropped it off to me I got it pumping for him um, and yeah now this is his maiden voyage he's having an absolute ball of a time um, he was just flying up and down but I think he's got spark plugs just gone 
because um, it's now starting to bog out a bit. It sounds like he's only one, running on one cylinder. So I'm pretty certain his spark plugs either gone or it's got gummed up because the fuel's too rich. Um, anyway, my engine starts and runs absolutely spot on. Um, when it's not in gear, as soon as you put it in gear, that bogs out. So I, I'm not quite sure what's up with that, but um, I, it's, it can't be that simple, something like a carb clean or something silly like that. So here I am at the minute, as you can see, tied up to a boy because I'm having to row back in. Kev, Kev could have towed me back in, but he's only going to have two hours fishing. So he's out there, he's got a couple of uh, flapper rigs on. He's just going to, I'm sure, he'll get plenty of white in um, and probably the odd dogfish, maybe some dabs. Who knows, maybe even a codling. He's sitting in some really deep water over there. Um, it's not a bad day, as you can see, it's pretty cloudy. Um, I will be out in this so very soon, guys. I'm hoping to get, I'm hoping to go a bit further afield, actually, and go and do, go and do a bit of cod fishing in it somewhere. I don't know. I mean, mine's three metres. The floor's not putting it properly. I've just literally thrown it together this morning. Um, and it's not a bad morning. I mean, there's, there's, there's some kayakers over there. Look, hang on. I'm trying to hold this rope so I don't float away, because rowing against this tide is hard work. But I'm getting there, slowly but surely. Um, it's a good workout. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully Kev will catch a few fish and uh, it, I'm sure he'll show me later on. Really sorry guys, that it's another whiting video. Um, what can you do? What can you do? The new venue was nice. Um, it was nice, easy fishing out the car. Um, a big shout out again to Maddie man because the Maddies were spot on. Um, but yeah, that's that's that pretty much. I will see you on the next one. Uh, it's now Saturday. Um, we're meant to be going out with Steve tomorrow on his boat doing the dab fishing, but um, I think that's going to get blown out because the weather's changing drastically tomorrow. I will find out that in about an hour and a half as it goes. Um, if it doesn't, then I don't. I, I'm going fishing somewhere because I've got about 30 score blacks in my fridge. Um, I'm, I feel like going somewhere up the east coast. Some trying somewhere like I don't know Felix. I was saying because I've never been up there. Um, I'll probably just catch whiting again, but you've got to try these places, isn't you? And I'm sick of fishing my normal spots. So, in a bit. Thanks all.